up, what's up? I am your host Patrick. We are here again with another great video this time in the year of 2021. 2020 and one. <laughs> uh, this was a performance that I, uh, it was part of a Resorts World uh, thing that they were doing to celebrate the um, coming of the new year. Uh, and I was, I had to miss it. I only found out about it maybe like two or three days before. And like I said, I, we ended up having to miss this. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it right now. Um, this is Jed Modella, of course. Uh, Jonah and Morissette, so they're gonna bring us to life. All right, let's hit it. Let's press play. The most joyful sounds of live music. Who's this lady talking? World class artist. I'm That's right. She so please welcome on stage Morissette, Jed, Jed Madella, and Jonah. All right, let's do it. Such a long instrumental, huh? <laughs> What's that? Anybody know what that burst thing is supposed to be? Is that like a supernova or I forget? Not that one, but the other one. Is this just one of the background singers? Who's this lady? She was hitting it. This is the longest intro to bring me to life, I think, ever, probably, except for Nirvana doing it themselves. <coughs> Very different than that. <laughs> so just let me soak in some of this in. Ooh, look at Joan in that dress. Okay. What? 
is that on <laughs> on top of Jed's? I definitely still wish I would have been able to go to this performance and I'm sure it would have sounded even even greater um, actually being there in the audience um, this was totally a different um, version of bring me to life than I've ever heard and I'm definitely I'm definitely an advocate for doing something different um, however I didn't really like this version all three of them sang their butt off I just didn't, I don't know, like the arrangement of having Jed singing the the parts that are usually the, the biggest female parts of the song kind of threw me a little bit, um, especially when I know that Jed Medell, I've seen him live before, that guy, he has a range on him, and I think it would have still been crazy good if he could have reached, you know, did some of the higher range stuff of this song. Um, Kind of like uh, reminiscent if any of you have saw the Aces concert when uh, Darren Espanto was singing some of the operatic like high operatic um, notes and everything and it didn't take anything away from him being a guy it just just helped make it like you know it was still a great presentation of the songs i um, not saying that this was a great a great pre representation of the song I just didn't really like this version of it <clears throat> as much but like I said all three of them they gave it everything but but at the same time we already know Morissette I mean we are you know can hit some high some high uh, whistle notes and all of that we know that Jonah can also do that she can also do very much of the opera operatic stuff which she probably I think she probably should have done that part that they had right before all of them came out where they had the other lady I'm assuming was a background singer was doing it I think that would have been a perfect thing uh, to in the intro to have Jonah doing that um, yeah but again like I said they all sang they all sang great they all sang great for what the arrangement was I just didn't I'm just not a huge fan of that actual arrangement and I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me, oh, they didn't make that, make this up. It came from wherever. Well, I've never heard it before. Okay, <laughs> until now. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on this. Like I always say, they all, all three of them are awesome. I love them all. Uh, I just didn't really like this arrangement as much. Um, but what did you think about it? I mean, because I know some people loved it, and some people may felt like me. Who knows? Uh, go ahead and get in the comment section. Let us know. Also, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, whatever you want to do. 